In this video, we'd like to share a couple of tips to help speed up Forest Pack's user interface draw speed, which for some users has slowed down in recent Max releases. The reason for this appears to be related to the switch of 3ds Max UI to Qt, an initiative which started with Max 2018 and explains why you won't see these issues in earlier Max versions. Worse behaviour is also exhibited in PCs that have multiple CPUs such as dual Xeons and Ryzen's. As far as we can tell, this is a general issue, but it's more apparent in objects and modifiers that have many UI elements like Forest Pack. Now unfortunately, as you can see, this slowdown is a little bit outside of our control, but we are currently trying our best to make improvements. Meanwhile, here are a couple of things you can do to shave valuable seconds off your UI load times. First and most importantly, make sure you're running the most recent Forest Pack. The latest versions have a few changes that remove some mostly unseen UI elements to make it load faster. To demonstrate, I currently have Forest Pack 6.22 installed. This version does not include these optimizations. To measure how quickly Forest Pack's UI loads, I'm running a script written by one of our team members that opens the Forest Pack modify panel a number of times and then gives me an average opening time in milliseconds. So here, if I run it now, I'm getting an average load time of 3.4 seconds. That's a little slower than I would like. So now I'm going to update to the most recent version of Forest Pack. And open Max, and then if I run that script again, let's see if there's an improvement. Okay, so this time we have a load speed of 2.3 seconds, and that's already a lot better. We've shaved off a second. Secondly, try to minimize the number of Max instances you have open. Here, for example, with two instances open, if I run the test again, load speed has dropped to 2.5 seconds. And if I have three max instances open, my speed drops again to 2.9 seconds. Now, as I mentioned, the slowdown is based on the fact that Forest Pack has a large number of UI elements to draw. So an easy way to speed up load times is to hide those parts of the interface you never, or at least seldom use. For example, some rollouts are mainly there to support legacy features, and it may be that the average user doesn't need them. Here's how to hide those rollouts. Just go to the general rollout. Click on the cog to open the global settings. Then uncheck any rollout you don't currently need. For example, if you're rendering stills, you may not need the animation settings. You might also disable camera, items editor if you're not using it, shadows, material, effects, display and about. Remember, you can always easily enable a rollout again if you need it. So with that done, let's run our script again. As you can see, we now have our load time down to 1.5 seconds. That's much better than we started with, and in most cases without any loss of day-to-day -day functionality. We do hope this helps, and please stay tuned for many more tips coming soon.